Causation of Crime in Criminology In criminology, the study of the causation of crime seeks to understand the factors and circumstances that contribute to individuals engaging in criminal behavior. There are several theories and perspectives within criminology that attempt to explain the causes of crime. It's important to note that crime causation is a complex and multifaceted issue, and often, a combination of factors contributes to criminal behavior. Here are some major theories and factors commonly discussed in criminology. Biological theories. These theories suggest that biological factors, such as genetics and brain chemistry, play a role in predisposing individuals to criminal behavior. They explore how physiological characteristics and abnormalities might contribute to criminal tendencies. Psychological theories. These theories focus on individual psychological factors, such as personality traits, mental disorders, and cognitive processes, that may influence criminal behavior. They examine how factors like impulsivity, aggression, and lack of empathy can contribute to criminal actions. Sociological theories. 1. Strain theory. This theory suggests that individuals engage in criminal behavior when they experience a disconnect between societal goals and the means available to achieve those goals. 1. When people feel unable to attain success through legitimate means, they may turn to crime. 2. Social learning theory. According to this theory, criminal behavior is learned through interactions with others, particularly within intimate social circles. 2. Individuals learn criminal techniques, attitudes, and motives through exposure to criminal role models. 3. Social disorganization theory. This theory emphasizes the role of the neighborhood and community environment in fostering criminal behavior. 3. Areas with high levels of poverty, unemployment, and social instability may experience higher crime rates. 4. Labeling theory. This theory posits that individuals labeled as criminals or deviants by society are more likely to engage in further criminal behavior due to the stigmatization and marginalization they experience. Environmental factors. 1. Economic inequality. High levels of economic inequality can contribute to crime by creating feelings of frustration, resentment, and desperation among disadvantaged individuals. 2. Peer influence. Associating with delinquent peers can increase the likelihood of engaging in criminal activities as a result of peer pressure and group dynamics. 3. Family dynamics. Dysfunctional family environments, characterized by neglect, abuse, or lack of supervision, can contribute to a higher risk of criminal behavior. Routine activities theory. This theory suggests that crime occurs when three elements converge, a motivated offender, a suitable target, and a lack of capable guardianship. Changes in these elements can influence crime rates. Biosocial theories. These theories consider the interaction between biological and environmental factors in explaining criminal behavior. They explore how genetic predispositions may interact with environmental triggers to lead to criminal conduct. Rational choice theory. This theory posits that individuals engage in criminal behavior after making a rational decision based on a cost-benefit analysis. If the perceived benefits outweigh the perceived risks, an individual may choose to commit a crime. It's important to recognize that these theories are not mutually exclusive, and many factors often interact to influence criminal behavior. Criminologists continue to study and refine these theories to gain a better understanding of crime causation, which can ultimately inform prevention and intervention strategies.